Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a pick a card all about what is coming up next for you. So I'm sorry the lighting is a bit weird. I've got some top down lights, so there's gonna be a lot of intense shadows of my pointy nails. So let's get started. We're gonna see what's going on in your future and I do feel a lot of changes for a lot of you guys at the moment. So whenever you find this reading, this is meant for you. So what is going on next for you? What you've got coming up? Blessings, all that beautiful stuff. It's just gonna be a general blessings reading for you guys. So we have three groups here. We have group number one with the grounding card. Group number two with the love and group number three with the compassion card. And this is the crystal grid oracle and I'm not paid to say this, I just love this deck. This is by uh, Nicola McIntosh, it's really, really good. And I just love this. And she's also made a smaller deck as well. This is the deluxe version and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna be using it today in today's reading. So let's get started. Let's start with group number one with grounding and let's see what messages you need to know. So let's go, start with group number one with grounding. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys and we'll see what you've got to look forward to. And I feel for a lot of you guys, this is really within the next three months. Um, it could be like really uh, within a month or within a week, but it's literally within three months. So it's not gonna be, I feel any longer than that. Um, I do feel for a lot of you guys, it can be also your immediate future. It just depends when you come across this. So however it feels like it resonates for you. So. We have grounding smoky quartz. I love this. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer to the camera. So this is a really, really, really beautiful card. I love the green. Normally with smoky quartz, it's all about that kind of dark brown color, but I love the green. It feels very earthy, which is really nice. And smoky quartz is really good when you're clearing a lot of stuff. It's really good for when you are kind of ready for just letting go of a lot of things. It's more of a time of letting go rather than bringing in, but it could be that you're letting go to bring some things in. So Smoky Quartz is also really good to kind of um, kind of diminish any like really bad negative lingering energies. So if you're moving house, if you are around some people that you really don't enjoy being around, Smoky Quartz, once they've left the room, is a very good to place in the room just to kind of protect you. Okay, so let's see what you need to know what's coming towards you we're going to pull some more cards from this deck i just love the gold oh girl so pretty so let's see what we've got going on let's see okay group number one let's see what you guys need to know what's got oh yes we've got alignment another um dark crystal as well black crystal this is uh ill ill Ilvi, there's a lot of crystals I can't pronounce in this deck. Let's see what else we got. We have expansion. Okay. We have soul star. And we have breakthrough. Lovely. Okay, so what I feel really drawn to do for you guys is I'm gonna do a month by month kind of little mini reading. And we're gonna see what's happening for each month because I really feel drawn that this video is more about three months for you guys. There's a lot more fun coming your way as well. Your kind of um, purpose for the next three months is really focusing on fun. Like it's really about aligning yourself with things that are light and joyful and easy and not stressful. Um, if things feel very stressful, it's just because you're coming into alignment with things that are a lot less stressful. Um, you are, you've got a lot of kind of like pointy crystals as well. You've got a lot of like a long kind of pointy ones. There's a lot of selenite in these crystal grids. So I do feel for a lot of you guys is there's definitely a clearing out from your life. It feels like massive amount of clearing. I'm picking up like a lot of cleaning tools like sprays and brushes and scrubbers and things like that. There's a lot of that going on. It's very Virgo energy for this group. And I feel for a lot of you guys is the expansion is so pure for this group. I feel like you're really coming into your feminine, which is really, really nice, especially for my women. That's very, very positive. Um, of course, my men as well, but especially for my women, it's really positive for you guys to come into that feminine. Very, very important for you guys to come into your feminine um, because then it means you can feel more comfortable in your skin. You're easy, more easily able to attract stuff from a place of less from fear and more from joy. Okay, so let's get you some tarot and we'll see. Let's start with um, let's start with the first month and we'll just see what's kind of happening. 
Yeah, I feel like I need to be really specific in this group. This is definitely like Virgo energy, this group. Let's see number one, Let's see the first card. Lovely, okay. So the month you're in at the moment is feeling really kind of intense. It feels kind of icky. Lots of like thick, yucky, black kind of energy. And I know that sounds really bad to say, but it's not evil. It just feels, it feels like it's stuff you don't want to do. Like it's things like doing contracts and clearing out stuff and um, maybe going through some old memories that are re-triggering you. And it feels like it's necessary. It's kind of like the boring stuff before the good stuff comes basically and your girl doesn't like doing boring stuff I like to be creative and have fun and it's hard for me to do the boring stuff sometimes I am a creative soul and it's really hard to just be like oh I need to do my taxes yay not I don't like the government anyway but let's not go into that okay so the second month we have the moon so what I feel is a lot of you guys are, go are literally aligning with your perfect perfect life because perfect is in the eye of the beholder you are literally aligning to your perfect life that's what i feel um there's a lot of icky stuff like i said there might be a few relationships that need to just be cut um there's a lot of things that need to kind of just be gone i'm hearing be gone <laughs> i think they say that a lot in like like wizardy kind of films like thou shall not pass you shall not pass that kind of thing that's what i'm getting that that's definitely it that, this is why i do three month predictions sometimes and i get very specific because can you see the energy literally flips in the third month that's amazing this could easily be as quickly as three weeks but it just depends on your energy and what you go through and what you're prepared to go through and what your soul wants you to go through you know all the things free will basically so what i see is a lot of you guys are getting comfortable with um just really like saying and doing what you would like to do so say if there's a job you really want and you've always thought i can't do that i have no idea how to do that you literally are getting really comfortable with doing it and you're getting really comfortable with basically just putting yourself in a position where you have permission to do this job let's get you one more card for that one let's see what the magician is saying yeah okay right this feels really good this feels really really good this feels like there's okay what i'm seeing is i'm seeing so many things the first thing i'm seeing is children like playing in like a nursery and i'm seeing like these building blocks so you know those blocks that you get that have different letters and kids like just play with them and they have like the they play like they either build like a house with them or they build like a tower and it's kind of like this sense of creativity and actually giving you you a chance to choose what you want to do with the things you've got in front of you so basically a lot of the time basically i, I would say you've been on this earth really a lot of it's been okay what would that person want from me what does that person want me to do and it's like it's always been considering every other person other than you and it's caused you to kind of have this life where you're just like a really it feels a dull life and obviously a lot of us tend to have this because we're in society and it sucks but you have more and i know it sounds really cheesy but you do have more control than what you realize like there is a sense of like really gathering up the things that you know you are really good at and what you can do and really using them to your potential so basically what i feel is you're actually realizing like oh i can do all these things i've just got to make sure i put them in the right way so say you've always applied for jobs online i really feel like your kind of career doesn't apply for this so for a lot of you guys there's a lot of money stuff that's changing there's a lot of money changes money shifts financial shifts so for a lot of you guys if you are struggling with career if you you're in between jobs you're not sure where you want to what you want to do what i see is the first two months or two weeks obviously depending on the person you'll know who you know if this is you or not which of one it is i feel for the the first two sections so say two weeks or two months it feels like you will literally have to just be with the emotions that you're feeling and you're just gonna have to feel really uncomfortable <laughs> which I know is really annoying but it's almost like this is literally a healing process this is showing me this is all just validating everything for you basically it's saying even though i know it's hard the process of healing is not is not comfortable like some days you will feel like nothing is happening you'll feel like you're bored everything's really slow and then other days you'll feel like oh this is great i'm having a great time and then boom you crash and you go through everything again so what i see is you just have to do the mundane boring boring rubbish stuff before you get to the good stuff and the third week slash third month is a lot more choice and it feels as if 
you're choosing from a much more different place you're actually choosing from a really like different place than you ever chosen from before um it feels like a lot more color as well as coming back into your life i would say that a relationship probably needs to fall away from your life to create this it could be a parent it could be with a friend it could be with a, a partner whatever it is you know it's, it would have already have pretty much fallen away um it just at this moment it's just a lot of changes so but it feels really good oh i love that yay we've got six of cups i love six of cups it's so cute so what i see is like i say like that's why i was picking up on that child playing with the blocks this is you um coming back to your inner child and feeling a lot more comfortable with her or him and being like oh well, i can play and i can do things and i can have fun and for a lot of you guys you're going to attract some really nice people into your life um, if you feel like you've got, you're gonna, you're you're ready for meeting new people. It could be you're in hermit mode. I'm not too sure, but if you're out of hermit, once you get out of hermit mode, you're gonna feel like this. And a lot of you guys are really connected to black cats, like black animals specifically, like crows and ravens and mice. And I mean, can you get black mice? I don't know, but it just reminds me of like witchy animals, like owls and stuff like that. But I'm getting a lot of um, just really coming into your potential. It feels really nice. Like this feels really 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 good and i know it can be very stressful and i feel like for this group you've watched a lot of other pick cards and you're like i just need answers girl don't we all <laughs> don't we all i know it's really difficult but you I, I can pretty much say you're gonna have a day where something just cracks like literally just cracks open for you and all these colors are so lovely as well a lot of you guys really are learning to self-regulate as well like really regulate how you're feeling on day-to-day -day basis which is a big step because a lot of us don't know how to regulate our basic emotions like if we feel sad a lot of us can't even be in it and that is sad that is really sad um the number nine is coming through as well and nine is so good like nine is a very significant number nine is basically like you're on the precipice of that change go for it do it do the things you will be asked and you will be stretched to try some new things that you know you're not comfortable with but you're ready to do them um you will have a time also where you've got, you are going to be in hermit mode for a little bit just stick with it it's okay you know obviously i know it's hard if you have to go to work and things like that but if you can just try to minimize the amount of time you're around people because you are changing a lot and you're very sensitive to other people's energy so if you are around a lot of people you are going to feel very 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 sensitive and basically you won't you'll probably struggle to cope and we don't want that we want you to feel much more comfortable and at ease and just feeling good okay so let's get a couple of these cards let's get some divine directions i love these cards these are my favorite let's see what else we've got going on let's see what you're attracting oh this one wanted to pop out Ooh. okay oh my god we've got energy yeah exactly <laughs> i feel like a lot of you guys you're very sensitive you don't realize either you're you're around a lot of people um kind of actually there's about one to three people that are very specific and they suck their life out of you like not in a good way like in a very uncomfortable like draining way and you feel very very attacked by it this is not for any unknown reason like these people they're not good for you um you'll know who they are and they could be people at work that you kind of have to be around um that's why i do suggest if you're in a toxic work environment and you can't really get out of it at the time um black onyx i have used it it works it's great for being around people who just really don't get you basically and you just have to be around them recharge exactly so we have energy goals and recharge if that's not accurate i don't know what is this is really really nice this feels like this has to be a time of me time this has to be me time and i know it feels uncomfortable i know you're feeling stretched but me time is so effing important for you guys like you have to be with yourself at the moment if you're around lots of people you would feel like a blob of mess like you wouldn't know what to do um and you'd feel like well you would basically wouldn't transform and we don't want that you got a lot of um, very tall guides and for a lot of you guys you might be star seeds i'm getting a lot of like really tall uh alien type energies and i don't ever connect to them too long because they've got really strong energy and it's a lot for me as a virgo mars i tend to like keeping things on the ground <laughs> okay this is really nice all right you're stepping into your power I don't know why i'm getting this but for some of you guys you could be dinner ladies like serving up food um, to children at schools and things like that you're if you're that type of person you're kind of a server or you're like a waitress or something you're you're a service like provider of some kind like you 
in possibly food as well for you food could be your love language so you may go from like a dinner lady to owning your own restaurant or you could be a waitress um going towards like i don't know something to work with children like it's something to do with like food is very close to the heart like if you are feeding somebody you're feeding them feeding them with your heart you know like mums with their kids like you know if you get a home cooked meal it feels like it's from the heart so that's kind of what i feel for a lot of you guys is you're going from the, you're just awakening very very quickly and it isn't comfortable but it's so annoying so basically the main thing i feel for you guys is coming into a career that feels really good for you so if this isn't the right group for you then feel free to choose another group or walk away from this video i do not mind um but basically there's a lot of stuff that you are you can't avoid anymore um chiron is <laughs> i'm hearing the, the the s stirrer i try not to swear as much but the s stirrer stirs the, the the crap um it stirs it all and what it does is it's basically saying okay what's your worth like are you happy and most likely a lot of you aren't and let's change that you know um, and we have the 11th house underneath the deck as well so the 11th house is to do with friendships it's to do with connections and a lot of you guys will be meeting some lovely 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 people okay so i want to get you guys a couple more cards and then we'll end the reading um let's get you some energy cards and we'll see what wants to come through I still can't get over how long my nails are like these lights don't help like they really accentuate the length like it does not it looks like creepy okay arms lovely i love that so you're feeling like you are becoming much more coddled with your heart like you are getting used to being in your heart a little bit more and what that means is basically you're aiming it towards yourself rather than other people um, you've really, 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 really um, put people first and it's caused you your throat to close up and it's caused your throat to feel like you really can't say anything. You've been in a lot of relationships that just are very toxic and it's now your time to really, really shine, like really, really shine. And that's why it's so uncomfortable. Like if, you're, if you have literally been a people pleaser your entire life, my love, it will take a while to get used to being to being the real you. Like you literally are unraveling one piece of thread at a time. Like if you have been a people pleaser, you're they're saying, this is such a cute way of saying it. They're saying your energetic ball is very, very like twisted and twi into twine, like kind of like a, yeah, like a ball of twine. It's all like all messy. You gotta do one thread at a time. You gotta go, okay, this is like my mother wound, my father wound, the relationships, my friendships, like literally cut all the cords. Snip, snip, snip. <laughs> okay so i do feel communication coming towards you let's just clarify that yeah okay so what i see is you have been feeling a little bit disappointed there's a lot of communication where you've been feeling like why is nothing moving um it's gonna get better i just feel like it has to be uncomfortable for a while because it is a timing thing, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. A lot of you guys are moving to a beach. You might be living near a beach. I'm seeing Malibu. Um, and like someone, someone beginning with C, so you might be living near a beach very soon. Um, but yeah, I've, everything is very positive. I know it doesn't feel like it, but honestly, you are 100% you are moving forward. And you're revealing your shadow. You're letting go of this shadow, uncomfortable stuff that's just made you feel really horrible. Like a dark night of the soul, trauma stuff. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the love card. This one is so pretty and it always comes up at really convenient times. Whenever I'm doing a love reading, and whenever I'm talking about love with a specific client, this card keeps popping up. So for a lot of you guys, I can pretty much guarantee that there is some type of connection that is very close, <laughs> like pretty close. Like spirit does not play around. Like a lot of the time is I'll, I'll be pulling cards and it'll be like, hey, what should I do this reading on? And it'll be like love. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it literally says the word love, like straight there. So okay so for all these groups i feel like i want to do like a three month prediction i'm not even sure what i'm titling this reading it is to do with manifestations and what's coming your way but i am going to do possibly like the next three months so we're going to be looking into that as well just to get some really like really recent like clear close messages so you know what's coming to you in like quite a short amount of time 
So with this specific grid, I love the fact that we got some clear quartz. I'm pretty sure this might be Herkimer diamond as well. Um, and this is basically about value. I feel like a lot of you guys are working on your value and a lot of you guys could be 25. 25, five and two are really strong numbers for this group. There's definitely a connection between this number and the word love, like the number five is massive amount of change and two is to do with connection, it's to do with two people coming together. So what I see is a lot of your relationships, I'm getting really hot as I'm saying this, every time I do love readings, I get very, very, very hot, like I am sweating. <laughs> um, also, sorry about the lighting, if the lighting looks a bit weird i know you can see like every shadow my nails look crazy but hopefully it doesn't look too bad okay so basically with the two and the five there's major 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 <clears throat> changes in relationships um ones will fall away you'll gain that i'm hearing fall away and gain so it's like whatever falls away you will gain i'm seeing shuffling cards within my hands and i'm feeling like as cards fall away i pick some up as cards fall away i pick some up so what i see is you don't have to hold on to anything that feels basically like garbage it's kind of like if you keep trash in your house for too long it starts to really stink up the place that's essentially what it's like when you hold on to things that are just not good for you anymore and this is people and for you specifically this is a very relationship based reading um so i'm sorry if there's some of you guys who are in a relationship i'll try to um talk about both of you guys single and in relationship but for a lot of you guys this is for my singles um because a lot of you guys i know come to readings for you know when you want a relationship but i will try and accommodate for those of you in relationships too so for my singles <laughs> specifically you guys are the heart of your life okay so you are the center of your life you get to make decisions and sometimes it doesn't feel like that because as humans we are very connected to other people's opinions and views of us it is only natural okay if we we're in a tribe we would essentially ask our girlfriends or our guy friends for advice or you go to the shaman or you go to the chief and you talk to that person you know from what i believe in you know that's kind of what i feel we used to have so i feel for a lot of you guys is don't shame yourself for asking for help don't shame yourself for asking for advice it just depends who you're asking that's what you want to be really careful of when you're transforming and you're changing a lot when you the types of people you talk to determines how you feel about yourself so if you're constantly talking to people who are depressed who are feeling rubbish who don't ever work on themselves you will feel like rubbish because those people you don't want to live their life you want to basically ask advice from people who you want to live their life so if there's somebody who's happy and joyful and expansive and tries new things if that's the sort of person you want to be ask that person for advice and that's the sort of people i feel like you're gaining so your new you is coming about and i think within the next three weeks you could possibly be in a really different space which is so fabulous and you are literally coming into this reading with perfect timing and the number two is really prominent in my head i can literally almost feel it almost like someone drew it on my forehead that that's how much i feel like it's indented in there um for a lot of you guys you're going to be so blessed with a lot of money um it might not also be money if you are struggling with money it will be money um possibly if it is if you're not struggling as much i do feel like you will be gaining more kind of um more wealth not so much just money i think a lot of you guys it's going to be um just major blessings really it's going to feel like wealth it's going to feel like ah, oh, that is mine that is mine and it, things are just going to click a lot easier um, and i'm hearing whoever wronged you will move out of your life and they aren't worth the energy unfortunately especially with not people who are narcissists or have narcissistic tendencies these people will drain you and you're, you're really realizing that i don't know if you guys heard my stomach growl then i'm hungry um when you guys are struggling do try not to go to a narcissist for advice and you know who these people are they will drain you like they haven't got they haven't got anything to give to themselves they can't give it to you so you may end up feeling worse off than when you started basically um so what i see is i see two specific people coming through i see a friendship and a partnership so that's really good i see two solid connections that are going to be very fulfilling and we have five and six seven as well so number seven is very very significant okay so let's get some more cards this is a crystal grid oracle i'm going to keep um promoting this because i love this deck this was actually um sent to me but honestly i don't ever 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 suggest card decks if i don't love them they this is such a good deck 
it, it's just so beautiful and pretty. Oh, look at this car. This is so nice. Oh, I love this. This feels like a compass. This feels really nice. This is like, oh, you are ready. Like, this is not just a life that's like for everyone else. This is a very different life. This is like off grid life, which I love that. This is like a caravan, a camper van, a person traveling. This is someone going in like tents and sleeping at night in the, in the, under the stars. Like that's, that's kind of the life I think a lot of you guys are gonna have. Ooh, I love this. This is so pretty. This is so different to group number one. Group number one, I think, was going through it. You guys have, have gone through it, but you're pretty much ready for this newness. Like you're ready to come out of hermit mode which is so nice. Oh yes, look at that. That is yummy. I've never seen green opal. That is a really beautiful crystal. I, I'm shocked. I've never seen this card before, so that's really nice. Um, that just feels very heart center. That feels like I'm, I'm honest and open in my heart. And I want to tell you guys also, this is something I had to remind myself as well. If you see people in relationships and you think, I want that to be me, or you know, say you're in a relationship already and you just don't feel that great about it, Remember, every relationship is different and it takes some time to kind of this click into my mind. So it might take some time to click into yours as well. But people say, I've got a boyfriend or I've got a girlfriend. And remember, their relationship is gonna be completely different to yours. You can have a relationship with somebody and be arguing every day. You can have a relationship with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and literally be intimate every day, all day, all day, every day. That might not be for you, or it might be. Remember, every person has a different conscious awareness. So don't feel like you're missing out. Your person will gravitate towards you <clears throat> and they can't miss you anyway because you're meant to be in their life. And why would you wanna miss that? Like, why would you wanna miss that? because you've got so much goodness coming towards you. And I'm feeling like you're, you're gonna feel like your, <clears throat> your relationships are changing very drastically. And basically, oh, I just get, I'm getting so many messages, it's kind of overwhelming. I'm getting the number 10. I'm seeing someone packing their suitcase. I see a bucket being filled up with like lots of good stuff. I see like a child going around like an Easter egg day and like hunting for Easter eggs and their bucket's full of all these colorful goodness. And it just feels like, ah, oh, the ball is rolling now. The ball is starting to roll. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, icy. We have um, Iolite, I, I Alote. I don't know how to say that. Spell I-O-L-O-T-E. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. 22 rebirth we have one one two two i mean the, the what what the fuck like literally can't get any more perfect than that and then we have last one growth okay so and we have four four we have one one two two four four okay um if that's not a push in the right direction i don't know what it is like it, a spirit cannot be any more confirming with this <laughs> and then we have emotions and that makes so much sense your emotions will be wild and wacky um or have been wild and wacky Black Moonstone, I love Black Moonstone. Rainbow Moonstone is one of my favorites. And White Moonstone, just all the Moonstones, all the Moonstones. Okay, I need to calm down. Whew. Okay, so what I feel for a lot of you guys is there's gonna be major shifts. You will have, I feel for some of you guys, whenever you see this, a major opportunity coming within a week. So whatever you've been looking for, if you're desperate, I definitely feel within a week. And I do see a partnership coming in for those of you who are single. For those of you in relationships, I feel like a lot of you guys will be are actually quite content at the moment. For the odd few, you are in like this toxic situation. But for a lot of you guys, I genuinely feel like if you are in a toxic situation, it's not gonna last very long. I think you're just gonna be like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore, um, which is fab and uncomfortable, but it's good. Like you need a break and you don't deserve to suffer. That's not life. Life is not for suffering. Life is for adventure and fun and also survival, but enjoyment as well. Like humans are supposed to be have fun and be, commun be in communities. So, okay. So what I see is you're going to be really honored for your for your job um if you i feel like this is a job that you really enjoy if it's a mundane job you're not going to get as much kind of traction but if you turn to a job or you are in already in a job that you really love i think you're going to be very 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 content and a lot of people are going to want your services especially if you move to a different area there's going to be a lot more people that really appreciate you and i see that in one area of your life literally say like i don't know in wisconsin and that's randomly just came to my head in wisconsin where you live um you have like people throwing trash on you like that's how it feels emotionally then you move to like i don't know australia 
and then you have all these people that are pouring flowers on you and like and you're getting married and all these things like that's kind of the energy i see it's like your environment will change how you feel about yourself and if you felt really stressed out i do see major major shifts really big shifts and um, i know it's stressful trust me i know I've, I've been there and it just it does get better i've got to tell myself that too <clears throat> Okay, so let's get you some tarot. For group number one, I did this as well. So we're gonna be doing this for you guys. So we're gonna do group number one. Sorry, no. Month, month number one, there we go. There's your man. Okay, so for some of you guys, if you are wanting a partner, that is your man or your woman. If it's a man, I think they're very tall. I'm seeing like a white Caucasian male, brown hair, green eyes, very specific, I know. For a woman, I'm seeing shorter black hair, long black hair, and darker brown eyes. So there's there's two people specifically, um, obviously depending on if you're attracted to women or men. And the page of cups here is really, really, really nice. It's almost like, you know when you get celebrities and they get greeted with all these people with like, I don't know, gifts at the hotel or like flowers, that's this person. So if you're moving or you're going into a new job, you've got somebody who's really excited to meet you, almost like you're a celebrity. Oh my God, this is perfect. Guys, you, your reading is so spicy and special. Like, it's kind of like the Christmas present you've always wanted, but it's not a Christmas, which is even better. Um, this is a really mature person, because I'm feeling like this person's really gentle, but they are very serious about you. This is somebody who sees right through you. Their eyes are very intense. <clears throat> Can I get one more card? Because I'm just really curious. Oop. Oh my God, yep. Okay, so this person's gonna approach you. It's gonna be super, super easy. It's not gonna be difficult. Um, you're not gonna have to force it, push it, nothing like that. Um, it's gonna be very easy. My love, you've pushed enough. You're done with that, okay? We're done. <clears throat> Week for month number two. Because sometimes this is weeks. They, that's what they told me in the spirit realm. We have um, <clears throat> five of swords. <clears throat> okay, you'll get a bit of whiplash because you've got too much stuff going on. <laughs> you're actually really excited, but it's kind of overwhelming in a good way, all right? So you're gonna have, you're gonna be greeted with somebody and then say if this is a partnership, the next month or the next week, most likely month for this, this one, you are going to just be sitting in it. You're just gonna be comfortable and you're gonna be sitting in it. You might have a little bit of fear, doubt. You're gonna be kind of feeling a bit scarce. Like say if you meet, do meet a new partner, you will be feeling uncomfortable. There will be triggers that come up. You might be thinking, how can I, can I trust this person? Are they gonna let me down? So basically just sitting in that uncomfortableness. I'm gonna confirm that, yeah. Okay, so it could be an ex coming back as well. Um, you might be feeling tied between two people, okay? And trust me, normally you're not tied between two people for very long, it, you know? It's not that difficult to choose people, boom. Group, sorry, week or month number three, the fall, hello. So what I see is, if there's a relationship here, it's flourishing pretty quickly, moving in, um, doing the dirty pretty quick. Like this isn't something that's just a little sprinkle of love this is like oh okay that's gotten serious like really really quickly um okay um if this is a job you are literally as i said job that came out if this is a job you are fully settled in it like you are like oh this is the right one for me some of you guys will be moving to cities some of you guys will move to oceans like literally night and day so either really really busy and polluted or really really fresh open and lots of seawater okay and then we have this. All right, so I would say also this person that you're meeting, um, I feel, and also for something like, if you are in a relate, if you're already in a relationship, this person can also be a boss or someone who's just very significant to help with the change. It could be a therapist, it could be a, I'm hearing a stockbroker, <laughs> so random. Um, somebody who helps you get money, I don't know, something like that. But whatever's going on, all of the fighting you've been doing with others like all the fears all the uncomfortable stuff i know it's been un seriously uncomfortable but it's all been worth it i'm seeing those um you know those, <laughs> those plants in harry potter when you pull them out the mandrakes and you pull them out and they're screaming that's kind of what your life's been like <laughs> pretty much your entire life um i feel you on that one that i, I agree i 100 percent agree it's like why do you keep transforming me why do you keep making me feel uncomfortable i just want to like scream all the time that's kind of like your inner child it's like a screaming mandrake when i'm hearing just bless you bless you you've been going through it oh that card went what is that oh i can't see it okay well that's going to be the mystery card i can't grab it 
We have Sagittarius, lovely. We have Ceres, nice, beautiful, lovely relationship energy from this reading. Palace Athena, perfect. So much conscious energy. You guys have been doing the work, girl. Work it, work it, work it. <laughs> and then we have Saturn, which is you're done. You're done with the big changes, like the big shifts, like the big uncomfortable shifts, like having to move, having to change, having to dismantle your entire effing life. Like you're done with that now. I'm really curious as to what this card was that I dropped. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna grab it. Um, but we also have career changes with the tenth house. So lots of stability, lots of masculine energy coming through as well, which is really nice. Okay guys, so the mystery card was the third house. This is, I can't even explain how easy the energy for this group is. Um, what I see is, I'm just hearing you, you've done it. <laughs> you've learned the lessons. Oh my God, that's so amazing. And the third house is, for me, it means different things at different times. For this group specifically, it's like super easy communication. Like whoever you're talking to in the next three weeks, three months, it feels like it's just ease. And I'm like questioning it because I'm like, I'm a Scorpio. I've gone through like too much. <laughs> um, that's really good. That is so nice. I love that. Okay, so let's just do one last couple of cards. We'll just see the type of environment, see what you're going through at the time. Okay, so stomach and bedroom. I do feel there's some sort of intimate connection happening here. Um, your bedroom will be changing. Sorry guys, if you can hear my stomach, I need to eat something. Um, and we have Australia. I literally said Australia in this group. So some of you guys could have connections overseas or be from Australia. Um, we have Sage, so lots of clearing, lots of cleansing. I'm hearing you are doing so well. And I see spirit almost like stroking your hair. Lovely, the show or movie you're watching. Attributes to keep in mind, spotlight character, public fame. So you are becoming the main character and there might be a, a TV show that you find that really represents what you're going through. Um, there is a soul connection here. Just clarifying it with the eyes. I love this. So somebody's got very, very deep eyes, very, very intense. That's your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So pretty much for the other two groups, I've been doing three month predictions. It can be three weeks as well. But we're gonna do basically three months in advance, okay? Um, also, sorry for the lighting, if it looks kind of witchy, witchy, um, but that's what, we got, that's what we got to work with today. All right, so you have a compassion, number 29. This could be your age, uh, or 92. <laughs> that's kind of rare, but let's just put it out there. Um, so we have compassion, you might know somebody who's 92, I don't know, you may have a grandparent or a mother, I'm not too sure, or a father, grand, granddad. Um, okay, so compassion. So as I'm actually saying, uh, for grandparents, I'm actually feeling a lot of grandparent energy from this group. Compassion, compassionate like elderly people, like really cute, sweet energy. Um, a lot of you guys will be tapping into it, tap, 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 that's what I'm hearing, just tapping. You know when you tap a tree for sap, that rhymed. Tap a tree for sap. Oh, my stomach is going for it. If you tap a tree for sap, you are kind of, you are tapping into the goodness within it, you know? So what I see is you are definitely starting something new and you're getting a lot of goodness out of it and you, you've chosen the correct thing. This is your new thing. I can, I can see for a lot of you guys it's coming into your sole purpose. A lot of you guys, I'm not sure what that is. A lot of you guys will find it, I feel, in the next three months. I'm hearing, <laughs> but no, I do feel like that. Some of you guys think I'm probably joking, I'm not. Some of you guys will definitely find it. Okay, group number three. So I've come back, I had to have a snack, and now I've come back because I need to eat something. Okay, so we have compassion. So this is really, really beautiful. Um, this is definitely a beautiful energy for you guys. I feel like the blue is so important to do the throat chakra. There's a lot of communication back and forth with somebody. And I feel for a lot of you guys, as I'm hearing, if that person wanted to, they would. They really, really would. And some people can't meet your needs. And it's sad, but it doesn't mean you're not worthy of your needs. It just means that singular person cannot do that. And it's sad because we tend to see the lighter side of people. We tend to see you know the potential and it makes us sad but at the end of the day like if we see the potential it's a good thing because it means we're awake to that but we got to also see what people are truly truly capable of okay so let's get you some cards and see what's going on okay it's like 
there's definitely a lot of um, adjusting in this room picking up on like somebody going to the dentist and getting like not major dental work but i see kind of like an operation like someone tinkering with your energy and kind of going in there so let's see what cards we've got all right so we have a bridge yeah lovely one thing one going from one thing to another for calm for insight i think the soul healing needs to go here i'm really vibing with the opal um like just even the the shape it may remind me of an egg that's kind of what i feel a lot of you guys are going through that egg type energy and then we have wisdom so what i see for a lot of you guys is you are very very wise like you are the wisest of the wise and you your information that you give to people is very valuable and i don't think you realize that <clears throat> because you give it away so freely one thing I see is you can get charged for this wisdom. Um, if you're not getting charged for it already, that could be a part-time or full-time job for you coming soon. Um, and within the next three months, which is what we're concentrating on, I feel like a lot of you guys are shifting and uplifting your life. Um, if you're in a partnership, um, I see you may move in with your partner. Um, if you are living somewhere that feels tight and restricted, you will be moving away from that. A lot of us are moving. I do, I've spoken to a lot of people, a lot of my clients have been moving and uh, moving house, things like that. I think a lot of us are literally being drawn to find our tribe. I think that's pretty much what's happening. And so we can come together and build our beautiful little tribe, which is so cute. And what I see, um, yeah, I'm seeing a modern tribe being created by um, October, which when I'm filming this reading is August and the August, September, October, two months from now. So two months from now, I see a group, I see you attending a group, and this group feels really special. Like, it, especially if you're not a group goer like myself, groups are very intimidating to me. Um, but for this group specifically, I feel like you're going to feel very happy. Um, you're gonna be really invited to the group. I think this group, it contains a lot of projectors. A lot of you guys kind of need to be invited to the groups to really feel like this worthy. And especially with your insight, a lot of you guys have a lot of insight. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys, like I say, I think you could easily get charged for it. Um, so it could be you're a psychic medium. You could be someone who works on the phone. You could be somebody who um, is working with health. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be drawn more to health and working with herbs um this group also in the next three months i see a relocation specifically for your career for your job specifically okay so let's get some cards and we'll see what we have to look forward to in the next three months so for this video i wasn't actually going to specifically focus on three months but my my intuition was like yes you need to do that because this video specifically is for those of you who want immediate like knowing exactly what's going on and that's the type of readings i like to do because that's why we tend to watch these videos because we want that guidance that's quite close by okay so let's see uh i'm gonna do a few cards for each a month i'm just gonna quickly whip through them so week one or month one because it depends on how you guys attract it so just take it as it resonates month one the magician can you clarify please look at all that wisdom look you're like basically like i am amazing i just don't feel it right now <laughs> yes i agree i agree that's definitely what you're going through a lot of you guys are so wise like you're such a mother like a mothering energy even if you're a man like fatherly energy is so beautiful like you are so comforting to a lot of people and you want to be very careful about who you choose to be around because people will take advantage of that purely because especially people who have narcissistic tendencies or people who are like you know bullies or negative these people um, can't access their heart they can't access that lighter side of them so they suck it from everyone else and you don't want to be around people like that you'll know who these people are because most likely you'll be moving away from them especially if you've lived with them okay month number two is major changes major shifts it could be a job change that's when the change starts happening because you don't want it to happen like it, it's like it has to happen and i always say humans only change when things get really really bad that's how we work because we don't like change um, we like change, but we don't like change. We like to feel safe. We don't like things to feel unknown because it can really trigger our survival strategy. Beautiful. Okay, this is so good. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so month one, month two, month three. 
could be week three as well, depending on how quickly you evolve through the situation. So basically what I see is, an idea comes to fruition. You move through the emotions of the idea thinking, I it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna work, all this stuff. And then basically you get so uncomfortable in your environment, you have to move out. You have to move out of this situation. Job, relationship, home, could be any of those situations, could be anything. It could be you are going from one place to another. It could be you suddenly wanna just get up and travel, I don't know. Whatever it is, you are definitely debating on it. And you feel like you can't do it, but I want you to say you can do it. And if it's really if it's really important to you, my love, you won't be left alone. Like if it's that important, you it will be so it'll be so specific to you. And I know you've always felt like things aren't gonna change, things aren't gonna get better. And a lot of it's because we stay the same, because we don't want to move because it's so scary. And you have to get uncomfortable. I know that's annoying, but it's true. Okay, so there could be somebody in your life within the next three months who becomes a really concrete type of person. This is someone who's very stubborn, who also doesn't like change, but they are very traditional. They will either help you with either financially, they could help you with moving, they could be a moving man, I don't know. But if you are wanting um, more of a concrete relationship with somebody, this could form from a friendship to a relationship, like a partnership type situation within those three months. I'm not gonna be so specific about it because honestly, it could happen even within seven months. If it's a dedicated relationship, it could be within seven months. Um, if it's more of like a professional connection, it could be within the next three months, okay? So let's get some cards. Let's see what specific things you are attracting. There's definitely a lot of like, I don't want to, I can't do that, I blah, 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 blah. It's like, my love, those, those thoughts in your head that tell you you can't do it, that's from other people. Like that isn't, we're not born with those thoughts in our head. As children, children wanna try everything. Children are willing to go out there and, you know, climb the walls and, I don't know why I said walls, I was gonna say trees. Climb the walls, climb climb the trees. They're, they wanna paint, paint everything. They want to run around. Like kids don't judge themselves because they haven't been shoved into a corner, into a box, into society. Like they wanna be free. That is who you are. That is who you are before all this comes to play. And you will get back to that. It takes time. And I know it's really uncomfortable. I know it's unfair. Trust me, I know. I don't, I don't want it to happen to anyone. If I could protect people from going through it, I would. I really, really, really would. Okay, yeah. Eighth house. You are going through major change. This color is so specific for you guys. Well, third eye. Third eye energy. There we go. So lots of travel. You could be um, meeting somebody abroad. You could be talking to somebody abroad. I would not recommend a long distance relationship at all. I don't recommend that. Just in general, because it's just not healthy. Because a lot of the time is, it's just a way of keeping you two at a distance. And keeping you two separate. Okay, so we then have the fifth house and it's about fun. A lot of you guys, you remember you can have fun whilst also being serious, okay? Um, I don't mean like intimately with somebody. I mean you can have fun in the in between times, okay? Um, you will be having more access to fun. I know if you've had a lot of hard times, especially in your home life, this will be changing and things will get easier. Um, it just takes a little bit of time, okay? Let's get a couple more cards. Career, yes, I really felt like this group was career and also create, the, car, the the word create. You are literally redefining what a career is to you. You don't have to be told what to do, that's so old fashioned. Like why should you have to always be told what to do? Yeah, exactly, your home is definitely changing, your home and your survival strategy is changing. Like you don't have to be under the thumb of your parents, you don't have to be under the thumb of a, of a boss. You don't even, and even if you are under a boss, you don't have to have somebody who's mean and disgusting. Like you can have someone who really respects you and actually helps you get creative because maybe you're the sort of person that prefers to work with somebody rather than work just by yourself. There we go, and your skills, exactly. I think a lot of you guys are being pushed to really do something like soul purpose wise and there's gonna be a lot of soulmates and a lot of these jobs as well take a little bit of time to create and take a bit of time to attract because they're not 
your usual job. So you have to get comfortable enough to make the changes to then get to this career. This is long one thing at a time, okay? It says, you are not alone. You are being looked after by your spirit guides and angels. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. It's time to learn some new skills, study a course or start a new hobby. And this was in about three weeks or three months. So give yourself some time. Have a great day, my love. Don't forget to have some fun and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye.